I think what we'll do is we'll make a start while I keep an eye on the phone. So if we come to child's pose today, so bring your hands flat on the mat, and you can have the knees together or the knees out wide. So if you have the knees together, that's going to work more into the back. I'm just going to let someone else in. And if you have the knees out wide, it's going to be good for the chest, maybe quite good for the shoulders. So just do what you need today. And bring the forehead to the mat if that's available. We're going to breathe in through the nose for four, three, two, one. And we're going to breathe out for one, two, three, four. And just keep going with your own breath. Just make sure you turn your mics off as well. Just notice how the body's feeling today. So if you've got any aches, any pains, any injuries as well, just be mindful of all of that. Just notice the hands and the arms pressing into the mat. Notice how the shoulders are feeling, working your way towards the ribs and the belly. As we breathe in, just feel that space. Just notice the ribs around the back and sides. Just moving towards the lower back now. And just notice how you're feeling in the lower back, so just being aware of any pains there as well. I'm just noticing the, the knees and the tops of the feet pressing into the mat. On the next inhale, we're going to come up to fingertips. So you can lift the arms away from the mat and just notice how that creates a shift in the upper body. So the shoulders slightly lift up creating space in the armpits, keep breathing, breathing all the way in and all the way out. Just letting someone else into the class. And take a deep inhale and as you exhale, just release the hands to the mat. And just notice how you're feeling now compared to when we started a couple of minutes ago. Are there any changes? And as you breathe, just follow that breath all the way in, all at the top, and follow that breath all the way up. And as you inhale, we're going to walk the hands over to the right side of the mat. And you can take hold of that left wrist if you want to go deeper into that stretch. So we're breathing into that left side body here. And we're going to slowly walk the hands back to centre. Just take a moment to notice how your body is feeling. And on the next inhale, we're going to slowly walk over to the left. And take hold of that right wrist if it's available. And we're going to breathe into that right side body. Just taking care here. Just being mindful of any differences. Breathing all the way in. And all the way out. And slowly come back to centre on the next inhale. And in your own time, we're going to lift up on the inhale. You can bring the knees together if they were apart. And you can come onto the toes and sit back on the heels. So we're working into the feet a little bit more. 
If that becomes uncomfortable, just release the toes. And we're going to inhale as we shoot the arms up, active fingers towards the sky, and exhale to lower. We're going to inhale to lift, take the gaze up as we're working into that cervical spine. Exhale to lower. Let's take two more. Coming all the way down. And as you inhale, we're going to lift the bum away from the heels. You can untuck the toes in. That's absolutely fine. We're going to take hold of opposite elbows, and we're going to pull up through the triceps. Really feel the shoulders working here as well. And we're going to come back. So we're going to start activating the abs here. Just find your point and hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, and come back to center. Slowly release the arm and take a few shoulder rolls in both directions. Just take your time with the rolls. And we're going to come into a back bend. So we're going to bring the hands to support the lower back. So you can do this version here and just gently ease the upper body back. If you want to go a little bit deeper, you can inhale as you lift and lengthen through the right, coming onto the heels. Lift and then come through the left. So just take your time. Mm -hmm. And take the gaze back. If you want to come out of it, just support the back. Tuck the chin in mm -hmm. and slowly bring yourself back. And just take a mm -hmm. few more shoulder rolls. We're going to untuck the toes. And we're going to bring the hands forward and then tuck the toes back. I'm going to come into our tabletop. So you want the wrist below the shoulders, the knees below the hips. And we're going to take our cat cow breath. So as you inhale, tilt the pelvis away from the belly, draw the belly towards the mat, bring the shoulders in towards the spine, gaze comes up. Exhale, reverse that motion, draw the pelvis towards the belly. Round the shoulder blades away from each other. Gaze comes down. It's really good to make the most of this practice, especially as we're sitting down, probably a lot more than usual. So there is that compression of the spine happening. You take these few moments. Really help open up the spine, lengthen the body. Remembering to breathe in, breathe out. Just take two more and bring yourself back into your neutral spine. We're going to work into the shoulders a little bit here. As you inhale, we're going to bring that right arm out first of all. So reach it forward with the fingertips and nice and active. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, we're going to thread that right arm under the left armpit and bring the right shoulder blade onto the mat. Just take it easy. Come out of it if there's any discomfort. slowly come up on the next inhale. And as you bring that right arm up, bring the left leg out as well. And we're going to have a nice little twist over to the right. So this is quite a nice little counter pose for that deep shoulder stretch. And we're working into that left calf as well. And just coming all the way back to the mat. 
and just bring the knee back and just give that left hand a little bit of a massage opening and closing the hands a few times so just working into the wrists a little bit and we're going to inhale as we bring that left hand out this time so reaching forward with the left fingertips exhale as we thread it under the right armpit this time bringing the left shoulder blade to the mat so just be aware it might be different on this side so taking care breathing in breathing out And slowly come up on the next inhale. Bring that right foot out this time, pressing the toes into the mat, and lift that left arm for a nice little twist over to the left. And you can stretch into that right calf at the same time. And exhale to release. Bring that right knee back. Just sit back on the heels for a moment and just work into both wrists. So you're going to clasp the fingers, draw the palms away from the body, stretching into the arms. And just reverse it, bring the palms towards the face and stretching out, taking it up overhead, bringing it back down. And just open and close the hands a few times. This is generally quite good for the wrists as well. If you want to work on building that wrist strength, rotations and open and close. Because it's going to work the muscles around that area. When you're ready, slowly pressing the hands into the mat. We're going to tuck the toes under. We're going to inhale as we come up into our downward facing dog. So just take your time, pedal the feet, bend the knees. Just in terms of your alignment, do what's working for your body. We're drawing that tailbone up towards the sky. We're trying to draw the heels towards the mat, only as far as it's safe. External rotation of the upper arms, if possible, to open out the shoulders. We're going to inhale as we lift the heels. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Now we're going to take three lines breaths here. So when you exhale, just stick the tongue out and let it all go. And as you inhale, we're going to lift the heels up and bring the hips forward, coming into our plank pose. So just check your alignment here. And we're going to roll the hips coming back into our downward facing dog. And let's bring it forward again into plank pose. We're going to hold it just a little bit longer this time. Take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, we're going to bend those elbows in towards the body. Inhale as you lift and open the heart. Untuck the toes. Exhale, come into your downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale, exhale as you gaze between the hands. We're going to step or walk feet to hands. So just come towards the top of the mat and we're going to come into our little forward fold, our rag doll. So just let yourself go, relax that back, let gravity do its work. And just bend the knees if you need to, so taking care. Swing it out, shake it out. We're going to nod the head, shake the head. So this time, just pay a little bit more attention to the neck as well. So when you shake, really do a nice shake. When you nod, take it up and down. So we're just trying to create space and movement. And just take hold of whatever's available, the big toes, the mat, the shins, the knees, the thighs. And as you inhale, just lift the chest, straighten the arms. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lift. 
exhale to fold. Let's take two more. Inhale. Breathing all the way into that back. Exhale to fold. One more time. Just slowly come into stillness. We're going to inhale as we come all the way up. Take your time, lead you with the chest, keep that bend in the knees if you have to. Lift the arms all the way up overhead. Nice big stretch, come onto the tiptoes. Hold it here, shoot the fingers up towards the sky. And release, fan the arms out nice and big. Let's take a few shoulder rolls in both directions. I'm going to come into our Tadasana pose. So you can bring the feet together or keep them a little bit apart. Take a look at your feet. As you look, lift the toes up towards the balls of the feet, spread them out, bring them back to the mat. So you should notice a visible difference. Shoulders away from the ears, chin a little bit tucked in, arms by the side. Start engaging that Ujjayi breath part of your practice. So a slight constriction at the back of the throat to create that ocean-like sound. And then inhale to rise. Exhale to fold forward from the hips. Inhale we lift and lengthen. So come onto fingertips or shins or above the knees. Keep it safe. Exhale as we step back with the right, step back with the left, coming into our plank pose. Now you've got a couple of options here. You can stay in plank pose, you can drop the knees, or you can come onto the forearms. And you can bring right leg out and in, and left leg out and in. So we're just working into the core a little bit here. Keep it nice and controlled. Just check your alignment. See, I'm checking my bum tends to rise a little bit when I'm doing this variation, so I need to check myself. Let's stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Come back to plank and lift it back into your downward facing dog. And as you inhale, come onto your forearms and lift. Forearms and lift. You're gonna take one more. And lift. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, gaze between the hands, step or walk, feet to hands. We're going to inhale as we lift and lengthen. Exhale to fold, forward to Nasana. Inhale to rise through the Sasana. Nice and tall. Exhale, come back to Tadasana. Let's take a few shoulder rolls in both directions. Going to inhale to rise. Exhale to fold forward from the hips. Inhale as we lift up halfway. Exhale as we step back into plank. So just hold it for a couple of extra breaths. Check your alignment. Draw the core in. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Let's lower it down. Elbows in towards the body. Inhale as we open the heart. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Just take a nice big inhale all the way in. Exhale, gaze between the hands, 
step or walk, feet to hands. We're going to inhale, we lift up halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise through Hastasana. Exhale, come back to Tadasana. A couple of shoulder rolls in both directions. We're going to inhale to rise, exhale to fold. Inhale as we lift and lengthen. Exhale as we step or float to plank. Lower it straight into your chaturanga. Inhale as you open the heart, so nice and big. Exhale, downward facing dog. So making the adjustments that you need. Nice deep breath. Inhale, exhale. As you inhale, we're going to lift that right leg in the air. So come into your three-legged dog, flex that foot. Inhale, bring knee to nose, nice and strong. And open. Let's bring the knee over to the left elbow. Hold it here and open. Take it over to the left. So a nice little twist. Really elongate that right leg. Lift that left, left arm up. Nice little twist. Exhale to release, swing it back into your three-legged dog. Now you've got the option of releasing into down dog or coming forward into your three-legged plank, lowering it down for your three-legged chaturanga and coming back into downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale, exhale, gaze between the hands, set, walk or float, feet to hands. We're going to inhale as we lift up halfway, exhale to fold, inhale to rise, exhale, come back into Tadasana. You can take a few more shoulder rolls here if you want to, just keeping that movement. Even that mobility. We're going to inhale to rise. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale to lift up halfway. Exhale as we step or float into plank and lower it down into chaturanga. Elbows in, inhale to open the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're going to inhale as we lift that left leg in the air this time. So a nice, big, flexed foot. And let's bend the knee, bring it to nose. And lift. Come over to the left elbow. And lift. And come over to the right. A nice twist, open up that left leg. Right arm comes up this time. Nice twist over to the right. And exhale, drop the right hand, shoot back into three-legged dog. You can stay here, come into dog, or come into your three-legged chaturanga. And we'll meet back in downward facing dog. Take one more inhale and exhale as you gaze between the hands. We're going to step, walk or float, feet to hands. Inhale, you lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale to fold. 
Inhale to rise through the Sasana. Exhale, let's come back into the Dasana. Just take a few breaths here. We're going to come into chair pose next. So if you need to bring the feet a little bit wider, then please do that. So just be safe in your own body. We're going to inhale as we dip and sweep, coming into the Vasana. So remember to draw the ribs in, zipping up through that midline. Bring the arms out, active fingers. Take it a little deeper if you want to. So bring the hands to heart center. Nice deep inhale. As you exhale, we're going to twist it over to the right. So just check your knees, try and keep them in line if that's possible. And this time, we're going to step that left leg back. I'm going to keep that right knee bent. So we're just coming into a bit of a twist lunge. And inhale as you come back to centre. I'm going to shoot the arms ahead and sweep them behind. Shoot ahead, sweep behind. And come ahead one more time. And exhale as you frame that front foot. And we're going to bring that right leg back. And we're going to come into our three-legged plank. And as you exhale, we're going to lower it down, release that right foot, untuck the left toes, lift up your heart openness. So nice and big. And come back into your downward facing dog. Let's take one more inhale and exhale as you gaze between the hands. Step, walk or float, feet to hands. We're going to inhale, we lift up halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise through Hastasana. Exhale, let's come back to Tadasana. Let's take a few shoulder rolls. So we're going to come through to the other side. So just take a few breaths. And before you come into chair pose on the other side, take any stance that's safe with the feet. If you need to bring them out a little bit wider. Just check your grounding. Check that you're rooted through the feet nice and wide. We're going to inhale, we dip and sweep, coming into Utkata. You can come into the balls of the feet. I want to try something different, it's entirely up to you. See if you can take it a little deeper. So slowly bring the hands to heart center. And exhale as we twist it over to the left. We're just coming into our twist over to the left this time. So try to make sure you don't sort of try to stretch into it too much. There is that tendency sometimes to use the elbow as a, as a lever. So just take care of that. Use that breath as you inhale, create that space and exhale, see if you can come a little deeper. Take a nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, we're going to step that right leg back this time and just keep that twist into that left knee. And come back to centre. Release the arm in front of you. So nice active fingers. Sweep them behind. Sweep them ahead. 
sweeten the behind. One more time. And exhale, we frame that front foot and shoot that left leg back this time into your three-legged plank. Bend the elbows and slowly release that left foot. Untuck the right toes, open the heart. And exhale, come back into your downward facing dog. We're going to take three more lion's breaths here. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, take the gaze between the hands. Step, walk, or float, feet to hands. We're going to inhale, we lift up halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise through her staff, and nice and tall. Exhale, let's come back into Tadasana. Just take a few shoulder rolls. So we're almost there. We're just going to do a a little bit of standing before we move towards the mat. We'll just take a few breaths. We're going to take eagle pose with the legs and the arms. So you're going to come with, you can start on any side, but if you want to start with the right, you can bring the right leg and wrap it around the left and just gently bend into that left knee. You can have the right toes on the mat and tie it up to you. You're going to bring the left arm over the right and take hold of the hands if that's available. And as you inhale, lift up the elbows away from the body. So you're rounding the shoulders and just bending into the knee. You can stay here or you can fall out of it like me. Or you can lift up, bring that right leg behind you and come into your warrior three. And you can release the arms. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, bring the hands to the mat. Come into your standing split. So just go as far as you want. You don't have to go all the way, of course. And exhale to release. Bring that right foot to join the left and just come into your forward fold. Take hold of opposite elbows. And slowly coming all the way up. And just take the gaze to the hand and exhale to release. And just shake it out because you do feel that a bit on the legs. <coughs> Just to give it a couple of breaths and we're going to come through to the other side. So for me it's going to be the left leg. I'm going to press the right foot into the mat. Bring that left leg over. Gently bending into that right knee. And then take the hands the other way as well. So remember lifting the elbows up so we're drawing the shoulders away from each other. And we're gently bending into that right knee. So you can stay here. Or option to come up. Unravel that left leg. Pivot forward into your warrior three. And release the arms. And as you exhale, we're going to frame that front foot and lift up into your standing splits. And exhale to release. Come into your forward fold. And inhale to rise. And lift up all the way. Active hands, shoot the fingers up towards the sky. And exhale to release and just roll the shoulders and shake it out. We're going to do one more pose in our standing and that's going to be dancer. 
So for dancer pose, you're going to press the standing foot into the mat, and we're going to lift the other leg up. So bend it at the knee and take hold of the foot behind you. And we're going to pivot it forward as we inhale, and we lift and lengthen through the other side. And use that breath. We're going to press the foot into the hand to help get that lift. Remember, you don't have to go any further than is comfortable for you. When you're ready, slowly coming back, and with control, unlike me just now, I'm going to lift that knee and bring it into the chest. So flex that foot, rotate the ankle in both directions. And just bring the hand on the other side and draw that bend knee away from you. Bring it back to center. Slowly release. And just shake it out. So yeah, just like me, don't be afraid to wobble or fall out of these poses. And you'll have days when you're, you're better at getting into them than, than other days. And it really doesn't matter. So we're going to work the other side. So this time we're going to bring the other foot into the hand. So we're bending the knee. We're going to inhale as we lift and lengthen through the other side. And we're going to pivot forward from the hips. So you might be better on this side. You may have more stability. Use that breath. We're pressing that foot into the hand, trying to create that space. Slowly come back. See if you can bring that knee in towards the chest. Just take hold of it with the hands. Flex the foot. We're going to take the ankle in both directions. I'm going to bring the hand to the waist. And we're slowly going to bring that bend knee out. And bring it back to center. Gently just shake it out. When you're ready, just bring the feet. As far apart as you want. So you can bring them that distance apart. We're going to bring the hands to heart center and we're going to slowly lower down into our yogi squat. You can use the elbows if you want to open up the hips a little bit more. Otherwise, just gently bring your bum to the mat. I'm going to straighten the legs. I'm going to flex the feet. Keep that little micro bend in the knees if you need to. Hands by the side. So check your foundation first, sorry. Bring the hands to the side. We're going to inhale, we lift and lengthen. Deep inhale and exhale to release. And we're going to take a forward fold here. So we're going to hinge forward from the hips. Try to keep a straight spine so you don't need to go too far forward. So just check your alignment now. slowly come up on the next inhale. So we've got about four or five minutes left. So we're just going to do a little bit, one more pose, I think, on the next. So I'm just going to show it to you because I haven't done it for a while. So just bring the feet flat onto the mat, and we're going to bend the knees. And we're going to lift that right foot up and place it on the left thigh. So that's what we normally do when we're lying on our backs. Try to keep that spine nice and neutral so we're not leaning back. Just see naturally where that right hip opens. You can bring that left foot out a little bit further if you want to. Keeping that right foot flexed. And 
you can draw that right a little bit more if you want to just be safe let's take a nice deep inhale and exhale to release and slowly bring that right foot back to the mat just give that right thigh a little squeeze we'll move over to the left so we're going to flex that left foot and just see naturally where that left hip opens If you want to coax it a little bit further safely, and just use that hand. You've got to be really careful with these hip opener poses. And gently release. And just lift that foot. Just keep the feet flat on the mat and slowly, slowly come all the way back to your final shavasana. So take your time. Bring the arms to the side. Bring the feet away from each other. So here in space. We're going to squeeze everything from the toes to the shins to the calves to the thighs, the stomach, the hands, the arms, the glutes, the face, and exhale to release. And we're going to start deepening the breath. Just slowly start to wriggle the fingers and the toes. Rotating the ankles and the wrists in both directions. Just bringing yourself back into the room. Gently draw the legs in towards each other. And bring each knee into the chest one by one. Give yourself a nice little hug and a gentle rock from side to side. And we're going to open up for a nice big stretch. And bring it back in. Take one more stretch. And back. And slowly roll over onto the side. And bring yourself straight up into your comfortable cross-legged position. So keeping the eyes closed and the face soft, hands to heart center, or resting on the knees. We're gonna end with our three clearing breaths. So breathing in through the nose and exhaling out the mouth. You can bring the thumbs up to the third eye and just thanking yourself for another strong practice, being proud of yourself for your progress and for trying new things and being proud of yourself for your progress throughout this difficult time. The inner light in me will always, always honour 
the inner light in each and every one of you. Thank you for today's practice. Thanks, Lab. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Thanks. Bye, guys.